Hello, welcome back to Think Big Digital. Today I'm going to show you how to make timeline for your project on Trello. The first step that we are going to take is to create a new board so, so that you can understand this more clearly. So just go to your Trello workspace and then click on create new board workspace. Then just tap on create or you can start with a template, but today I'm not going to do that. Once you do that, you have your new board. Now the second step is to add cards for task. So we have to create a board for each task or deliverable that needs to be completed. Now after typing the name of your list, just tap on after typing your name, just tap on enter and it will make you go to another card. Then tap another list that you have to do throughout the day. Now here I have created an individual list that is most important throughout my day. So I have created a specifically separate list for that. Then I have this to do, do, pending, testing and completed list from here so that I can understand what I might have to what are the works that is pending for the day. Now the third step is to assign each card to the appropriate list based on its current status and we will add detailed descriptions and we will also add checklist labels and any kind of attachments to each card as needed to provide clarity or context for the next task or the next week. Now here in the to-do list, I have four things to do, which is to consult with my team and bat and band promotion and kind of emails that are sent at my replies are basically that what I have to do. Now click on a card to open it and then put a description, add checklist, labels and dates and any kind of attachment so that you can understand how you are working with this kind of task and how we are going forward with this. Now for the consultation with the team, I have created a label design here. Then I have also created a checklist from here which is called civil penalties so that I have to so civil penalty is something that I have to keep in mind. So I have put it, I have put this in here so that I don't forget about this. Now, if you have any kind of attachment, you can attach it from this attachment option from here. And now I'm going for the dates. At what time I will have to do this task specifically, I will just tap on it, then just tap on save. And I highly, and I highly suggest you to use labels for categorization because it categorizes tasks by type, priority, or any other relevant criteria. For example, you might use different colors to present like design, development, marketing. Again, Trello offers power-ups which are additional features you can enable for your board. One useful power-up for creating timelines is the calendar power-up. Now, if we scroll down from here, you won't be able to find the calendar feature. So with what we will do is to search for calendar power up from here. Just tap on add. Now cross this out from power ups. Then go to enabled. Now it has successfully enabled to your card section. You can also copy this card so that you don't have to hassle with a list of another cards. And this is how you can successfully do a good productive card for your team or your management. Now, if you follow the steps to every of your list, every one of your list, it will be more easy to see what kind of things you will be testing and what kind of works you, you have to do through the rest of the day and what you have done throughout the day what you have done throughout the day it will make you more efficient to your work and it will make your 
it will make your timeline more easy. That's it for today. I highly suggest you to regularly review your Trello board to monitor your progress and ensure tasks that are being completed on time. Update due dates or move cards between list or between the update due dates and move cards between list or keep the project on track and communicate and collaborate encourage your team members to use trello to track their progress and communicate their task that's it for today we will see you in the next tutorial